Hello and welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. My name is Arnel Custodio and today we will be looking at the Gutenberg editor which is otherwise known as the default WordPress editor and how to create a simple image gallery. The creation of a simple gallery has changed a lot since WordPress was first released. Now with the Gutenberg editor it's really a simple matter of using a block to create a gallery and there are a few different types. This video tutorial will walk you through creating a simple gallery with the latest version of WordPress and then show the other gallery types that you can also choose through a default installation of WordPress. All of this will be done without using a plugin. Log into the WordPress Administrator dashboard. For this example, we're going to use the image gallery block in a post. So click on posts, then click on add new. Next, I'm going to Go ahead and name this post as Sample Gallery. In the top left corner, click on the plus sign and then type Gallery in the search box. This will bring up the Gallery option. Select the Gallery block and it will be added to your post. Next, we need to add a few images. You can upload new images to your installation at this point. But for this tutorial, I went ahead and loaded four images into the Media Library. So I'm going to click on Media Library, then select four images that I want to use for my gallery. You can click on each image that you want to use, and a check mark will appear at each image. You can select multiple images this way. Once you have completed selecting your images, go to the bottom right hand corner and click on Create New Gallery. It will look like nothing has happened, but a gallery was created and the images that you selected will appear with the option to add a caption for each. I recommend adding a caption to let your viewers know about each image that you have added to the gallery. Note the details for each image at right. Each of these options should be filled out for the images in your gallery. When you're done, click on Insert Gallery in the bottom right hand corner. You will then see the gallery inserted into the post. If you want each image to be clickable, then you will need to link each image to either the attachment page or to the media file. The attachment page will look like it's in an individual post for that particular image. The media file will show only the graphic for the image that you've selected, and the viewer would need to hit the back button on their browser to return to the gallery. If you don't select a link, then the image gallery will not be clickable. As I mentioned, there is another type of gallery that you can select in the default WordPress installation. Click on the plus sign in the top left corner, then click on where it says Patterns. Scroll down and you'll see a gallery option in the Patterns. Basically, it's a side-by-side -side gallery for two images. This option is great for image comparisons. You can also select the two column option that allows you to put an image at the top of a paragraph in each column. If you select the gallery, you'll notice that it is formatted to be much larger than the gallery block. You would simply replace the image in each block with your preferred image to use that pattern for a side-by-side -side image gallery. There are other options such as slide share, and then there are embedding blocks where you can pull images from online sources like Instagram or Flickr. Additionally, if you add other themes or plugins, you'll also see that some other gallery options may appear. This completes our tutorial on adding a gallery in the Gutenberg editor. If you want to learn more about using WordPress, make sure to check out our WordPress education channel for other guides and tutorials. Thanks for watching our video tutorial. If you liked it, please make sure to give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate you watching. Thanks again and have a great day. Check out our InMotion Hosting Support Center for help with your website. We provide thousands of step-by-step -step guides, videos, and much more to lead you towards making your online project a successful one. You can find us at www.inmotionhosting.com support.